What is going on fellas? And welcome back to the non-league to legend save. Today we take on Athlone Town and Bray Wanderers in our final two games of the season. For us to make it into the playoffs and be ridiculously overachieving, we need Captain Healy and Bray Wanderers to lose both their games and we need to win both ours. Even with that happening, we still have eight goals in the difference between ourselves and Kevin Teeley. I'm not... I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, weird, weirder things have, have happened. Ha ha? Hmm. Um, <clears throat> so, since you were here, we drew nil all with UCD. 56 days ago. The Irish League, it takes so long to get through it. We beat Wexford 1-0. We were terrible. Mwanga scored and then Stephen Leary got sent off. Then we drew with Captain Teeley. Not ideal. Um, and then we just lost to Finn Harps. Mwanga missed a... Mwanga... Not only did he miss a penalty, he put it about 10 yards wide. It was awful. I know penalties this year, everyone's talking about how bad they are. But oh, my sweet baby Jesus, it was terrible. But this is the team we're starting with today. We have had our youth in day. Um, I, I took I took all of them. I took every single player that was available because why not? They were all five star potential. So I just threw them all in. I said why not? You know. Um, the keeper Jack Byrne was the one that they were recommending the most. They were saying he is almost good enough to play first team football. And to be fair, Tom Holland has been my number one choice for the majority of the season. And he's almost as good as him. So maybe I'll bring him in. Uh, first touch for new gen. Standard. Can throw a ball to save his life. And has no eyes. Other than that, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. <clears throat> but yeah, I think he was the one that was closest to the first team. Uh... A random Lithuanian appeared. <coughs> he looks um he doesn't look too bad to be fair to him. And there was yeah a Dario Martinez 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 uh, just a random Spanish winger from Ujo. These random players appearing. It's delightful. Um but this is the team we're going to play. We have uh, my lad. Yeah, my lad in goal. We're actually going to play. Where is he? Rory McAlevey comes in for today's game. Why not? Jamie O'Sullivan and McSweeney in central midfield. Or central midfield. In central defence with O'Connor on the left. Uh, Timmy Turner, Abbott, Hurley and Kelly as our midfield four. Mwanga and Kylie up front. Um <clears throat> Oh, Brian Whitmarsh, he's been of late. Uh, Kevin Taylor has just been horrendous. Uh, ben O'Reardon, I gave out to him, said he wasn't playing well enough. He said, not a bother boss, I'll do better. Then picked up an injury the next day. Pretty much the standard, you know. It's how we, that is how we roll. Uh, we've had a bunch of players get new contracts as well. Um... So it's increased our wage budget by 500 euro a week. It's madness. Uh, I tried offering a bunch of players non-contracts and then my director of football... Was it, was it my director? Was the director of football or the assistant manager decided to just offer a bunch of players new contracts after they rejected my advances with uh, non-contracts. And they were delighted because... The direct football offered them pay increases. I offered them uh, non contracts, kind of hoping that you know, yeah, let's show this team the world what this team is about. Um, when someone offers you no money to play football and you reject it, that's fair enough. But then when someone else in the club walks in and says, Would you like a pay increase? then you know, obviously, you're going to take it. Uh, my lad decided against taking his pay increase. So, 
I'm fine with that. My lad's a player that I, I, I think we could probably do without his, his wages. Although not ideal, we do have like five goalkeepers in the first team. Oh, my lad. Just couldn't get there. And the scary, scary looking Paul Gorman scores. I'm starting to think that maybe um, Tony Pulis ball, maybe not the Timmy Turner has pulled wrist ligaments. You're not a goalkeeper, buddy. You don't need your arms. Oh, Kelly to Kylie. He gave up far too easily there, in my opinion. Chineda. Timmy Turner heads it away. See, you don't need your arms, buddy. Legs and head. McAlevey whips it up to Kylie. And Kylie from very far out just hoofs the ball as hard as possible. Timmy Turner. McSweeney. James McSweeney with the goal. I knew there was a reason I kept him in the team. Because they were saying to put in, um, what's his name, Charlie Lyons. Charlie Lyons has a lot of potential. Not really someone I've been looking at and going, definitely have to play him. But maybe he's going to prove me wrong. Kelly wins the ball. O'Connor. Big ball up, but Moanga doesn't get there. Abbott, back to McAlevey. Timmy Turner. Back to Abbott. Dinks the ball forward, and Hurley picks up the, the loose ball. Kylie whips it in. Moanga. Penalty? No, Timmy Turner with the goal. Tim, Tim, Timmy Turner. So that brings us up to 39. It does. Kevin Teeley are winning against Drogheda. Oh, they're not anymore. Drawing. O'Connor again is down to a, it's down to a 5.8 now. Yeah, still room for improvement. Sorry, pa uh, part of my beard just fell into my mouth. Ew. Ew. All right, I'm going to give O'Connor an opportunity to prove that he's not as shit as he looks. I hope he doesn't watch this video. Because every time he's played, I've, uh, I've basically slated him. But in FM, he's not very good. Or maybe I'm not playing him correctly. I, I don't make tactical errors. So, that was a nice ball forward. Unfortunately, Kylie didn't get onto it. A Ahern, toe pokes it just wide. O'Connor's not really moving away from that 5.8 at the moment. Uh, and Kelly get, Kelly's picked up a knock. So, what... We are going to do, it's going to bring Quinlan on and move Turner over. We're just going to set up with two inverted wingers. Yeah, I'm not going to make the change just yet for O'Connor. It's down to a 5.6. He's looking composed, but he's playing horrendous. Abbott doesn't win the ball, but McSweeney gets it forward. Kylie can't get there. Mashigo, he's not having a good game either. Having said that, he's probably going to score here. Hurley wins the ball and somehow manages to lose it instantly. Kylie. Back to McSweeney. Seems to be our playmaker at the minute. Moanga. Look like a trip. No? Okay. O'Connor. Timmy Turner. Big ball forward to Moanga. And, oh, keeper just gets fingertips to it. Yeah, O'Connor's down to a 5.4. He was down to a 5.5 .5 for a second there. Yeah, you're coming off, buddy. I'm sorry. You're not. You're just not very good at football. You know? All these all these things you could do, and you decide not to. And Abbott's on a 6.2. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's no bueno. We're going to bring Lamb on for him. Lamb has just been one of those frustrating players this year. He's has the potential to be very... Very good at this level. And he's just 
not get he's just not there he's just not there um we've not really been that good today we've been fairly lucky at the minute Athlone Town brought five fans with them 355 packed packed stadium yeah they're all in the uh the stand here <laughs> literally nobody else went to sit anywhere else did they oh my god my lad well that'll be it now we're guaranteed to not make the playoffs Athlone absolutely dominated us in terms of shots Sympathise with them. I am not happy. If he takes this badly, I might just release him. I think he heard me. He he heard me and went, maybe I don't uh, don't react poorly to it, so because then I'll be out of a job. I think he's only played. He's only, yeah, that was his fourth game this season, and Kevin Teeley smashed Drada. So the best we can hope for now is 5th and Limerick are in 5th. Can't drop any lower than 7th. So that's a plus. Kelly is out for th up to 3 months. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. Um, yeah, just keep your head down. Yeah, mine's going to leave you to recover. And Timmy Turner pulled wrist ligaments out for 3 days. You, you played horrendously in the last game. And now you come forward and say you want a new contract. Yeah, sack your agent. Yeah, exactly. Coincidence. I think not. Ha! Ha! His uh, old agent probably hates me now. Yeah, fiercely dislikes me. Are any of my players? Nope. None of my players. Are we, what the hell is a Palananga? The Lithuanian team. That is very random that he had. Kevin Bazunu. Oh, he's on loan from Man City. I was like, how is he after ending up in fucking Norway? <clears throat> Stephen Fallen, huh? Jesus. Jesus. How would the mighty have fallen to Australia? To be fair, that's probably better for him. Not really getting his game for Dundalk. Off to South Melbourne, you know, enjoying a bit of sun. Happy days. Right, we will be back in just a second for the final game of the season. We might as well just... just... Oh, I'm not in his most disliked people. That's unfortunate. He hates Pep Guardiola. Okay, fair enough. We'll be back for the last game. We'll, just, we'll play the last game against Bray. Might as well, just see how we get on. Just... Play like a mad rotated team. Give some players that have never really gotten an opportunity. Give them a game. See what they could have done. See was it a mistake not playing them all season. So we'll be back in just a second for that. Alright lads. We're back now for the game against Bray. <clears throat> As I said. Game means absolutely nothing. If we win. We jump ahead of Bray. If we don't win. We finish in 7th. To be fair. We were expected to finish stone last it's changed now we're supposed to finish ninth seventh is the worst we're going to be eh. it's fine <clears throat> so this is the team we're starting with today going for a bit of a actually i'm going to play you as a, as the stopper you want to be uh we're going to start with the new young kid in goal because why not jack Byrne starts in goal uh, McAlevey and Lyons are going to play as our fullbacks. Fitzgerald and McSweeney as our centre backs. McCarthy and O'Leary as our wingers, both on attack, because why not? Abbott and um, Colgan, who I don't think has played since like the first game of the season, he comes back in to get an opportunity as a centre midfielder on attack. Um, we're going to play O'Brien, Whitmarsh, and Kylie as our strikers. Um, 
Eric Kiley is just going to play as an advanced forward because why not? Squad number has to be given to one of our players. Number, I'm not going to give my goalkeeper number nine. I do enjoy a crazy number every now and again, but I don't like giving my goalkeeper anything other than one or 12 and above. I will not give my goalkeeper any number between two and 11. I'm not managing Rui Patricio. Got nothing to lose here, lads. <clears throat> the goalkeeper is happy. Imagine if he turns out to be an absolute worldie. That would be fun. If we had a goalkeeper that was, you know, consistent. That'd be nice. Hugh Douglas looking professional. Very good. A lot of our players looking normal. I don't know how you can look normal. But our goalkeeper, one and our centre midfielder Abbott and O'Leary all look normal. Which is can you look abnormal in FM? I know yeah, probably. <clears throat> Come on, lads. A bit of creativity would be nice, you know? A bit of something. A highlight would be nice. 11 shots in the first half. 3 on target. Not a single highlight. Delightful. Yeah, go and give the fans performance to cheer for. You don't care. You really don't care. It's going to tell everyone they weren't that bad. Because to be fair, I don't know if they did anything. <laughs> Nobody really did anything. So I... I can't... I can't really say, oh, you know, oh, lads, you know, oh, come on. You're doing well, but... You could be better. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Um, How tall is Jack Byrne? I didn't actually check that. Is he like... Five foot? He doesn't seem the tallest. I didn't realise that he was uh, short people problems. Why is everyone suddenly doing the... Pretending they're Naruto when they score? Hmm. How tall are you? 5'10". He looks about 4 foot tall. Like I said... Whatever happens, we're not going to finish any lower than 7th, so 7th or 5th, we're still going to finish 7th, so uh, Max Sweeney's having a terrible game, you can come off for, Jamie O'Sullivan can go for two defenders that aren't the best, but still, you know, Shane Colgan not having a great game, we bring on Mwanga, Mwanga. Set him to box to box because he's actually a striker who doesn't really know how to be a centre midfielder. But, you know, he can kind of do it. Uh, Eric Kiley's picked up a knock, so Keen Leonard gets to come on. And he's going to be a potcher. <clears throat> I'm going to tell the lads push forward and we are going to go attacking. We are going to make a couple of changes. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to tone down the directness a little. We're going to shoot on sight, because why not? Um, oh, no, we can't. We can't really do that with two... Uh, <clears throat> with two, <laughs> two players on um, defend at the back. Can't really do a whole lot. So, there are the changes. We have 23 fans that made it. You know, I told the lads to play for the fans. Uh, all 23 of them. That, we're, we're losing to a team who, who just took that shot. I think that tells you everything you need to know. Leonard, oh. That was, that would have been quite a spectacular goal. Um, as it stands as well. Galway, who've been top of the league pretty much the entire season. Are now down third. We were top for a mere matter of moments this year. But it would be nice if we managed to, you know, do something in this game. O'Brien Whitmarsh. 
Back to Mac, uh, yeah, Mac Levy. I thought I'd Fleming on there for a second. Hollywood. Cheeky, isn't he? Where are my defenders? Where were my def <laughs> Where were my centre backs? The one I've said to be a stopper was further back than the one that's on defend. Like, he put his hand up. Like, oh, he's offside. He's definitely offside. No, no. He's not offside because none of my players know how to play the offside trap. Which is why I'm not playing the offside trap. Oh, Abbott. Beautiful tackle. Ah, what are you on about? It was only a two-footed scissor kick. <sighs> Just not allowed to have fun. We're going to go three up top. No centre midfielders. Two wingers. Actually, do you know what? Push up a little bit further. Because why not? What could possibly go wrong with playing a 4-0-2-3? It seems perfect. It's a flawless tactic. So far, it worked. We had no more highlights. It was brilliant. Jason Abbott straight off. That's that's what you want though. You want a player committed to the cause. And I did say, you know, commitment. Goalkeeper didn't have unlucky today. No. They weren't really unlucky. They were pretty pretty shit. But you know. Galway got got beaten by Limerick and it causes him to finish second. How, what happened to Captain Teeley? Oh, it's on goal difference. Oh. That's unfortunate. Poor Captain Teeley. Uh, how long is Roddy out for? Six weeks. That's nothing. UCD. Win. Eric Kiley. Oh, we managed to, How did we manage to fuck that up? How did we... Three days. Three days with a bruised ankle. O'Brien Whitmarsh, 10 hours without finding the net. Kylie hasn't scored for 8 matches. We got we got 9k. So. <clears throat> we did overachieve. That's the main thing. We were competitive in the Senior Challenge Cup. That's what they wanted. We avoided finishing bottom of the league. That's what they wanted. And we worked within the budget. Somehow. Well, yeah, we yeah we worked well within the budget, but at the same time, the overall balance has just been horrendous all year. Can I get? I can start a coaching course. I'm gonna wait till the season finishes, and then go for a coaching course. Uh, just gonna give out to uh, to you, Rory McAlevey. Well done, buddy. Um, so yeah, we will be back for possibly the start of next season. Maybe we go looking for a new job. What's on at the Harrogate? Currently punching. No, I don't think we get the Harrogate job actually. It's probably uh, just a smidge too high. It's a stair and a half. Would we be able to get that? Swindon? Uh, we wouldn't get that. Albino Alefe? No. I don't see us getting that. Okay, no. QRM? No. So if we do move, it's looking most likely like it would be Harrogate. Imagine taking over at Shelburne and beating Galway. That would be nice. Actually, what's my... St how many stairs have I got? Have we got one stair? Have I made it? I haven't made it to one stair yet. Hmm. Right, so what we will do is, like I said, we'll be back for the first game of next season, unless I find a new club. Unless we move, we'll be back for the very first game of the season, and we'll have a look at the transfers we've made. I, I'm i hoping that we uh, that we find a new club. I'm, you know, we're a season and a half into our time at Cove. I think, I think it's probably time for us to move swiftly along. Um, I'm going to wait till the end of the, the season, once the whole season end 
thing comes along we go through all the stuff of like oh you know this is players of the season and all that all that stuff I don't even know how we can pick players of the season nobody's been that good um, the only person I could say is maybe Kylie he's been quite good Um yeah I'll apply for my coaching course then hopefully I get that that'll push me up to a full stare and then we can start looking at other clubs because you know Barcelona and Real Madrid decided not to take me on this time but next season I have I, I can feel it I feel it right here maybe I have indigestion anyway if you've enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe that would be a delight I would enjoy it Um. So would YouTube. YouTube sent me a big email saying people need to subscribe or else they're going to cry is essentially what it said. It was huge. It was 72 pages of if people don't subscribe, we will cry. And you don't want YouTube to cry because that would be sad. Crying is a sad thing to happen. Nobody wants that. Don't, don't make YouTube sad. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment on it. Tell me I'm terrible at football manager. I am not. I'm a tactical genius. You can ask into Rosé or Clates. The two of them, I fixed their tactics for them while they're streaming. Because I am a god. It's just this team is terrible. Um, like I said, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you for the start of the 2021 season. Unless we find something better. At this stage, anything would be better than Cove. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!